Ah, it's you two. Yes, it has been a while. <laughs> we heard the Yashiro Commission is holding a test of courage, so we came right over to sign ourselves up. We didn't expect to see you here in person, though. Does that mean this event is really important? You think I only make an appearance for occasions that are deemed sufficiently important? <laughs> it just so happens that this test of courage event was actually my suggestion. But, naturally, I've left the planning and more trifling details to be arranged by my retainers. Considering that such events are quite popular across Tevat, I've had numerous examples to draw from, so everything should be in good order. I'm merely here to do a routine check on the progress of the event, that's all. Oh, Paimon gets it! So what you're saying is, you're not very busy right now. In that case, maybe you can give us a quick rundown of the event rules! <laughs> Only Paimon could be so natural at ordering others around. However, the possibility remains that we may yet require your assistance. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> Seeing as I apparently have some time, I suppose we may chat about the event for a moment. Yippee! As its name implies, the event is a game designed to put one's courage to the test. The venue for the event will be set up in the Chinju Forest. Before the start of each round, participants will be divided into teams of two. Once teams have been formed, the event staff will announce the name of an item that has been placed in or around the Chinju Forest area. The first person to locate the specified item will be declared the winner of that round. The winner of that round? Huh. So there's gonna be multiple rounds to the Test of Courage? Precisely. There will be a total of three rounds in the Test of Courage because the event was actually orchestrated by three different parties. Merchants raised event funding, the Kamisato clan provided the grounds, and the Grand Narukami Shrine provided consulting services. As such, each of these three parties have selected one item for participants to find, so, naturally, the event will require three rounds to determine the winners. Ah, oh, Paimon gets it! So basically, it boils down to searching for stuff in Chinju Forest. We'll need to find one item each round for a total of three items after three rounds. Huh. Simple enough for Paimon! Yes, seems you've got the gist of it. We will be issuing different rewards based on the number of rounds won. So, if a participant wins multiple rounds, then that will also be reflected in their final reward. If a participant manages to find all three items, then they shall receive the grand prize provided by the Grand Narukami Shrine. Ooh, a grand prize? Sounds like it could be really valuable. As for its true value, I'm afraid you'll have to win the event first and ask Lady Guji yourself. Of course, this event is intended to measure your courage. If you withdraw from the event because you become too frightened, then you might as well forget about seeing any rewards. I'm curious myself how many people will be brave enough to make it to the end. It'll be most disappointing if nobody claims the prizes we've prepared. Don't worry, those prizes are as good as ours! Even though just the thought of this event sends shivers down Paimon's little spine. The Traveler will be brave enough, no doubt about that. I appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> I look forward to seeing how you perform. Anyway, I think I've given you sufficient details. I'll add your names to the list of participants momentarily. As for the three items you'll be searching for, please wait for a staff member to inform you at the start of the event. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. Test of Courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. So please, be sure to exercise caution. Pleasure to be working with you. Hold it right there. 
Oh, well, if it isn't my compadres. Didn't expect to see you here. Huh? I might know that voice. <gasps> it's Ito! What are you doing here? Oh, wait, don't tell Paimon you're here for the test of courage. Ha! <laughs> what else? I'm sorry, but, uh, those prizes already belong to yours truly. Arataki ain't scared of nothing, Ito. I mean, well, uh, that's what I really want to say. <laughs> but, uh, I have actually got something else going on. Oh? What's that? Ah, it's a long story. As soon as I heard about the test of courage, I got the gang together and was ready to bring everyone for the time of their lives. But, uh, it turns out the other members weren't as pumped about the event as me. Jinju Forest? We've already been there a million times. There's nothing scary about that place. That event's just a game for kids. What a waste of time. Let's play some genius invocation TCG. Seriously? Test of courage? Ugh, whatever. I guess if that's what the boss wants. Can you believe that? What a group of deadbeats. I'm not gonna put up with that. Nuh uh, not in my gang. Oh, Paimon gets it now. Dragging the gang to an event they don't want to go to won't be the best for your reputation as a leader. Hey, this isn't about me. As leader of the Arataki gang, it's my duty to find new and tantalizing experiences for everyone. A happy gang means a happy life. Even if they can't get it through their stubborn heads now, one way or another, I'll show them how much fun a test of courage can be. Anyway, I'm no stranger to Chinju Forest. Sure, it was a little terrifying going through there, but hey, I'm used to it now. It's seriously, what kind of scary pranks could those guys in the Yashiro Commission ever come up with? If they can't scare anyone, then it's not gonna be a test of courage, now is it? Not to mention, if the gang starts complaining, I won't ever be able to show my face around here. And after all that talk, it still boils down to you. Ah, well, leading a gang can be complicated, you don't understand. Anywho, I've got a plan. Since there's no way I can trust the Yashiro Commission to make a fun event, I've decided to step in and spice things up a little. Wait, you don't seriously mean that? Oh, you bet I do. Yours truly is gonna be out scaring people. <laughs> I'm taking this event to a whole nother level. But it's gonna take more than an Oni to make it happen. So I came here to recruit some help. And then I saw you come walking along. Come on, come scare people with me, please. Pretty please? Forget it! Pretty, pretty please? Ah, oh, fine. But don't forget, we're here to win the test of courage and take home the grand prize. We'll help you out, just don't get in the way of our prize. Ah, <laughs> yes! You're a real Oni saver. Hey, don't worry, with me around, winning the test of courage will be a piece of cake. All right, those participants won't scare themselves. Let's get out there. <laughs> What a noisy guy. Hmm. But after hearing him laugh and talk, Paimon doesn't feel scared anymore. Huh. Maybe laughter is the key to making fear go away. If things get scary later, we can all start laughing at the top of our lungs. Hey, Traveler, Paimon, enough chit-chat. We're gonna miss the event. Ah, uh, coming! Hey, Paimon! Ah! Oh, don't sneak up on Paimon like that! What do you want? Nah, nothing. I just had a thought occur to me. I want to scare the gang members real good, but now that I think about it, I've never actually scared anyone before. <sighs> You're only now realizing this? Practice? Oh, now there's an idea. Hey, uh, I've got it. Why don't you join the test of courage like everyone else, and I'll go hide and try to scare you from time to time. Then you two can judge my scaring skills. <laughs> All right, that's the plan. Let me go get ready. 
Just wait, you'll see how scary this Oni can be. <laughs> and there he goes, running off and still talking to himself. Well, we were here to join the event anyway. Guess we'll just have to pass Ito's little test along with whatever else the event throws at us. Oh, seems one of the event staff is over there. Let's go talk to her. Aha! You must be here to participate in the test of courage. Yep, that's right! Uh, judging from your outfit, you must be one of the Shrine Maidens from the Grand Narukami Shrine! That's right. Huh. I can already see a dark aura surrounding the two of you. Yes, truly ominous. If you carelessly go running into the event, all it'll take is one little misstep, and the darkness will swallow you up! <laughs> Whoa, what's with the sinister laugh? Is she really a Shrine Maiden? Sure you don't want to back out? This is your last chance. I'll count it down. Three, two, one. Welcome to the test of courage. Enter at your own risk. Sure, you could say that. You know, the most unfortunate tales always happen unexpectedly. On just a normal, average day. Just like today. But no need to worry. Allay your qualms and suspicions. Everything was already set into motion the moment you two stepped into this place. Just enjoy the calm before the storm. The first round is about to begin. Have you already decided on your partner? Ah, you finally said something that Paimon can understand. Yep, the two of us will be partners. We always make the best team. Hmm? But it appears your names were written together as a single participant. The Traveler and Paimon. Which means you'll have to find yourselves another partner in order to join the event. Wait, are you serious? Ugh, if only Ito hadn't gone running off on his own, we could have had a partner! Now what should we do? As far as I know, there have been other participants who've yet to designate a partner. You could go ask around. Just... Be sure to make it quick. If you don't have a partner by the time the event starts, then you'll be immediately disqualified. Uh-oh. We can't let that happen. Let's go see if we can find anyone to partner up with nearby. Traveler and Paimon, greetings. Huh? It's Ayaka! Are you here for the test of courage, too? Yes. My brother told me that the event would be most interesting, and suggested that I personally participate. I have never experienced a test of courage event, so I don't really know what to expect. Oh, so this is your first time? To be frank, I'm no expert when it comes to the supernatural. I often worry that I haven't shown spirits proper respect and have brought shame upon my clan. Oh, speaking of which, may I ask if the two of you are partners for the event? Actually, the Shrine Maiden just told us that we only count as a single participant. However that works. So, we're looking for a partner now. Splendid. In that case, how would you like to be my partner? I always feel at ease when you're by my side. Uh, but of course... Please don't let me get in the way if you wish to participate with someone else. Oh, you'd really like to? Then it's my honor. Or I suppose I should say, please pardon my inexperience. And if I appear to be frightened, please promise not to laugh at me. Ah, it looks like you found yourself a partner. The event is just about to start. 
I will now reveal the item you'll be looking for in the first round. It's called... Dongo Milk. Dongo Milk? Correct! Tomoki was kind enough to provide us with his Dongo Milk, and it has been hidden somewhere in the Chinju Forest. The path will be marked with signs to guide you, but some strange and unusual things may occur along the way. If you ever feel you can't handle it, you may withdraw from the event at any time. Now, if you're ready, then you may begin. We don't want anyone to beat us to it. Let's go. This reminds me of a story that a retainer once told me several years ago. There was a wandering samurai who, while crossing the forest at night, noticed that the familiar scenery was beginning to change right in front of him. The man stopped and realized that it was as if he was in another world. Strange creatures that didn't appear to be human were all staring at him. Ah! That's super scary! Paimon doesn't even dare look at these trees after hearing that story! Will we really be okay? If anything weird jumps out at us, teach it a lesson, Traveler! Please, stay a little closer. Please. Stay a little closer. <sighs> Wait, are these fireworks? Oh, they suddenly lit up! We better keep our distance. Oh, I'll show you how scary this Oni can be. Ha! How was that? Were you scared? I can't quite make out what it is, but there seems to be something moving there. <laughs> Look, everyone. Isn't this the dongo milk we're searching for? And there's a scarecrow beside it. Strange. What is that doing here? Well, it doesn't matter now since we found the dongo milk, then we must be the first ones here, right? But there's no way we can carry back so much dongo milk. Why don't we drink some to lighten the load a little? Paimon could use a sip. Ah! The scarecrow stood up! It appears to be guarding the dongo milk here. You mean... It's watching if we touch the dongo milk? Uh, don't worry. Paimon didn't even touch it. Oh, maybe you're right. Paimon will try to calm down. Uh, let's try some together. Mmm, tastes great. Indeed. Any fears I had a moment ago seem to have been dissipated by the dongo milk. And now that 
that I look around, this is Chinju Forest as I have always known it. After making it here, it doesn't seem nearly as frightening. My brother once said that fear stems from one's heart, and if your heart is at peace, then fear naturally dissipates. Now I understand what he meant. But fear is not entirely bad. Although I've been scared a few times, I still feel happy now. I would like to continue walking through the forest for a while. Will you accompany me? Ah, I see. Well, I shall continue walking while you go greet your friend. Don't worry. Now that I've experienced the event once already, I won't be easily frightened. I'll see you later. Have a lovely chat with your friend. Hey? Whoa! It's really you! What are you doing here? Oh, hello. Miko told me about the Test of Courage event taking place here. I thought I would come and have a look. Ah, so that's why you're here! So what do you think of the Test of Courage? Are you having fun? It's more or less the same as I remember before. I wasn't scared by anything, but on the contrary. Some of the event participants were horrified the moment they saw me. Oh, that Miko! Did she send A here to scare people on purpose? If that's the case, it feels like A isn't really experiencing the event like everyone else. Oh, Paimon has an idea! We'll give you a bottle of the doggo milk we just found! That would make you a winner in this round, too! Ah, yes! Isn't that the dessert drink we had the last time we met? Sure, I'll take one. Actually... I've sensed a familiar feeling ever since I arrived here. It's brought some old memories to mind. Huh? A familiar feeling? Have you been down to the beach by any chance? I was just strolling nearby when I noticed a space at the beach with a familiar game set up on it. I took a brief look, and it appeared to be a game where you control flippers hovering in the air to strike a ball and hit some positioned elemental cubes. I saw the game was called Akitsu Yugen. I'm guessing it originated from Akitsu Hasura. The thought of that game caused me to recall some things from the past. Akitsu Hasura? What's that? It's a game where you use Hagoita to hit a ball towards a set target. It was once quite popular during festivals. Makoto also enjoyed playing Akitsu Hazura when she was alive. Yakiyako was still around at that time, and nights in Inazuma were much more lively than they are now. The yokai would hold festivals from time to time, gathering to drink, laugh, and play music. Oh! Does that mean you could eat the delicious festival food whenever you liked? Yes. The yokai called their celebration the Mikawa Flower Festival. Makoto and I attended it once. She found it particularly fascinating. Sadly, the past has all but vanished. But seeing a game like that again does make me feel happy. Sounds like it could be fun! Paimon would like to play! If you're interested, you can go to the beach and give it a try. It was still being set up when I was there earlier, but I assume it should be ready soon. Yay! I shall return to Tenshukaku. Miko told me that the test of courage consists of three rounds, so please, keep up the effort and give it your best until the end. Considering you two, I think you should have no problem making it to the end. Oh, of course! <laughs> I know you can do it. Good luck. Paimon doesn't remember hearing anything about a game on the beach from Ayato. You think that activity is also planned by the Ashiro Commission? Oh... The more Paimon thinks about it, the scarier it feels. Oh, this whole test of courage thing is keeping Paimon on edge. Oh, anyway, the first round of the event should be finished by now, so let's head back. What'd you think? Do I know how to scare people or what? Oh! Uh... What'd Paimon think? Uh... Paimon was 
hiding behind you the entire time, so Paimon didn't really notice Ito scaring us at all. Uh... Paimon will leave this one to the Traveler. So, was Ito scary or not? Wait, uh, what? No way! Listen, every time I made my move, I scared the living daylights out of everyone. Even I had no idea I possessed such talent. But this is just what I needed to hear. Now I'll show them. The gang will know just how terrifying their leader can be. Anyway, I've already figured out which path they'll be taking, so let's wait nearby and scare the pants off them. <laughs> now things are getting interesting. You ready? We've got people to scare. <laughs> 